Google has launched its AI chatbot called Gemini. Welcome to Today AI, the hub of cutting-edge technology and artificial intelligence updates. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out on the incredible updates we bring to you every day. Now, let's dive into the world of Today AI, which replaces its short-lived BARD service. Google introduced Gemini, a smartphone app that behaves like a talking digital assistant as well as a conversational chatbot. Responding to voice and text requests, it can answer questions, write poetry, generate images, draft emails, analyze personal photos and take other actions, like setting a timer or placing a phone call. Immediately available to English speakers in more than 150 countries and territories, including the United States, Gemini replaces Bard and Google Assistant. It is underpinned by artificial intelligence technology that the company has been developing since early last year. Gemini is what researchers call a large language model, or LLM, a mathematical system that can learn skills by analyzing vast amounts of data, including books, computer programs, and online chatter. By identifying patterns in all that text, an LLM can learn to generate text on its own. That means it can write poetry, generate computer code, and even carry on a conversation. Gemini is a multimodal system, meaning it can respond to both images and sounds. After analyzing a math problem that included graphs, shapes, and other images, it could answer the question much the way a high school student would. The Gemini app can also generate, analyze, and respond to images. Users can upload a photo from their Super Bowl party, for instance, and ask the app to generate a caption. Bard was touted as a competitor to chatbots like ChatGPT but failed to impress in demos. Google staff even called the launch botched and slammed CEO Sundar Pichai. Now rebranded as Gemini, Google says it represents the company's most capable family of models for natural conversations. Two experiences are being launched, Gemini Advanced and a mobile app. Gemini Advanced grants access to Ultra 1.0, built by Google as its largest and most capable state-of-the-art AI model. In blind evaluations, Third-party raters preferred Gemini Advanced with Ultra 1.0 over alternatives in complex tasks like coding, logical reasoning, and creative collaboration. The AI can serve as a tutor by creating personalized lessons and quizzes. Developers are aided for trickier coding problems. Gemini Advanced is designed to spark ideas and strategize ways that creators can grow their audiences. Google plans to expand Gemini Advanced capabilities over time with exclusive features like expanded multimodal interactions, interactive coding, deeper data analysis, and more. The service already supports over 150 countries in English and will add more languages soon. Access to Gemini Advanced is granted through a new $19.99, including a free two-month trial. Subscribers get the latest Google AI advancements plus two terabytes of storage from the existing premium plan. Google claims Gemini Advanced underwent extensive trust and safety checks before its launch, including external reviews, to mitigate issues around unsafe content and bias. More details are available in an updated technical report. Lastly, Google launched new mobile apps on Android and iOS to access basic Gemini features on the go. Users can ask for help with images, tasks, and more while out and about. Over time, the plan is for Gemini to become a true personal AI assistant. The Gemini mobile apps are now available in the U.S. as a dedicated app on Android and in the Google app on iOS, supporting English conversations initially. Next week, the apps expand to Japan and Korea, followed by more countries and languages thereafter. And that's a wrap for today's dive into the realm of artificial intelligence. If you enjoyed this journey as much as I did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below.